Have you ever seen people doing peacock pose? And ever wondered, how do you even get into that posture? Well, keep watching because the secret may lie in using two yellow pillows to come in to this pose. Stay tuned because a unique way of coming into peacock pose, Mayurasana, is coming at you right now. Hello, magnificent human beings. My name is Landon Slaughter. This channel is all about fixing the kinks in your yoga practice by deepening your knowledge so you can create a truly transformative experience for yourself. And today I would like to share with you how I transition into peacock pose by way of lizard. And if you're not super familiar with lizard pose, then there'll be an interactive card that'll pop up here so you can research that and learn more about that specific pose. Peacock pose is a pretty difficult posture, so we're going to need to have a good amount of body awareness in this transition from lizard. It's going to require decently open hips, some good arm strength, and balance as well. So let's take a look at what to avoid in this transition. You may be placing your hands too far away from you as you begin this transition. And this is totally understandable, because we're not really used to this kind of reverse chaturanga arms thing. The biggest mistake I see people making is trying this posture when they're not fully warmed up. Next, make sure clothing doesn't get in the way. You're going to want that tactile feel. You're going to want that tactile feeling of the bare skin of your elbows in at the bare skin of your belly. That friction will kind of help hold you into place there. Also, be aware of high-waisted yoga pants that can kind of cause some slippage as well. Also, avoid doing this pose if you're not moderately advanced in your yoga practice. This means it's not the best pose for total beginners. But now that we've looked at what to avoid, let's look at making it happen. If you really want to make your whole yoga experience complete, then you are going to need two yellow pillows. You see, peacock pose is all about that solar plexus chakra. And what color is our solar plexus? You do yoga, you should know this. It's yellow! If you keep face planting into the mat, then you're going to need that beautiful yellow prana energy as motivation to keep going. <laughs> Smells like plexus. But in all seriousness, the pillows are here to break your fall. And if you get a big dose of that yellow energy in the process, all the better. Let's look at this step by step. Step one, come into lizard pose. Get comfortable here because this is the posture we are going to lift off from into peacock pose. Step two, spin your hands around and bring your elbows into your belly. Now you do this almost to the point of tipping over and face planting into the mat, which brings me to my next point. Step three, have your props ready. Yoga is supposed to make us feel beautiful from the inside and out. And well, if you mangle your face while trying peacock pose, then uh, that's kind of the opposite of what we want to achieve, right? So place the pillows directly underneath your face. Step four, think cat back. In cat pose, we really round that spine, right? So think about rounding your spine and bringing those elbows even deeper. Step five, place your head on the pillows as you move that lizard leg out of the way. This is a very difficult part of the transition. So allow yourself to fail, allow yourself to move the pillows around, move your legs around a little bit, bring your elbows deeper, whatever you need to do, but just try it out. Step six, engage those muscles around your core and lift. This is also a pretty difficult part of the transition, but if you have your elbows down deep enough, then you should be able to find that perfect teeter-totter point as you lift off. And lastly, let's look at putting this all together. I encourage you to only try this pose after you are fully warmed up. So first, coming into your lizard pose and spinning your hands around behind you, having your props ready. Sometimes changing the position of the pillows, bringing them vertical here is a good idea as well. 
Remember that cat back, really rounding that spine. And then bringing your elbows deep into your belly, placing your face on the pillows, and then eventually lifting off. If you feel any weirdness in your neck as you do this, back off. The goal is not to have a strong face plant onto the mat. You don't want that. You just want to gently rest that face <laughs> on the pillows and then lifting off. So putting it all together. And if you really want to incorporate this transition into your practice, then try my full 25 minute full body flow coming at you next. And if you really want to take your yoga skills to the next level, look in the description below. I have a free seven day course all around transforming your practice. As always, subscribe. I'm Landon Slaughter, helping you fix the kinks, deepen your knowledge, and transform your practice. Namaste.